Good afternoon. So if this is your first time here, I'm normally here at 11.30 a.m. every Monday and Wednesday, except for the first Monday and every month. I am hosting my mastermind meeting the first Monday in every month. So don't forget that. So for those of you who may have been looking for me to come on this morning and you're like, okay, she ain't being consistent. I was in my mastermind meeting this morning, but... I had a few minutes of time before I stepped into the next phase of what I need to do for today. And I said, hey, I'm going to come on and share something with you all. And it actually stood out for me during my mastermind call. And it made me think about how it doesn't feel like work when you're in alignment. Now, I'm not saying it's not going to be some funky moments or some hard moments in the process. That's not what I'm saying at all. But... It doesn't feel like work when you're in, a, in alignment. And many of you, much of the struggle that you're feeling and sensing while you're creating, growing uh, your business, uh, transforming uh, your life is because you're out of alignment. Because you're out of alignment. And I'm going to talk about that. And this is something that I'm recognizing even more. When I go back and reflect or think about uh, different times in my life where, you know, everything just felt right, regardless of what was going on around me, all of the things and the stuff, there may have been specific things, they just felt right. And it was those things that I was in alignment with. And I want to talk to you because my uh, client, during our call, one of my clients stated, she said, you just seem to do so much. Like, how are you getting it done? And I want to talk about it. So I hope you guys are doing well. If this is your first time on a live broadcast with me, or maybe you're catching me on the replay. Hey there, replay viewer. How are you today? Um, if this is your first time in uh, a broadcast with me put first time in the comments even if you come back on the replay if this is not your first time at the rodeo put hashtag <laughs> and i forgot to turn my not notifications off so hopefully um this has reconnected for us let's see i want to do myself a quick favor uh while we're waiting but so I'll do an introduction while I'm piddling through to share this out. If you could do me a favor and share it out for me as well, I would be ever so grateful. It doesn't feel like work when you're in alignment. It does not feel like work when you're in alignment. It doesn't mean that there aren't some hard things, but there's a sense of um, this is right <clears throat> that comes when you're in alignment. I'm Tanya Wilson Cherry. I'm a growth strategist, business coach, and mentor to women in business who want to brand and build their business and grow their life. So I focus on branding, um, brand clarity. Clarity is my baby. I, if, if you're not clear, it's just not easy. It's, it's harder when you're not clear. And, and there are going to be moments inside your, your journey in building your business and building your life where, you know, you just need another level of clarity. And um, so with branding, I focus on brand clarity the most with my clients because when they get clear on who they are as a brand, who their perfect people are, who, what is their sphere of influence, the area they should be gaining dominion in and rocking out in, it just, it feels better, guys. It feels better. So, one of my clients today was sharing with me that, um, well, maybe I'll do it this way. One second. Hey, hey, tell me who that is. I, I see you guys um, popping in. Put your name in the comments. Where do you rock out? How do you serve in the world, my dear? How do you serve in the marketplace? Who are you giving all of your valuable goods to and services and products in the marketplace? And what type of business is it that you run? What type of business do you run? Put that in the comments for me while I'm sharing that out and hooking up 
the Wi-Fi so it's better for us. I'm not going to be too long. Um, I do have something to do in about 20 some minutes. But my client said a statement. She said, you just do so much. Hey there, you just do so much. And I thought about it. And I probably do do a lot of things. But because they have become normalcy to me, because I am focused on staying in my lane, it doesn't feel like work. Now, it doesn't mean that I don't have hard things and I don't have things that challenge me or things that um, I'm challenged by. It doesn't mean that at all, you know, throughout the process. I don't know everything. So there's always a learning curve for me as well when I'm going to my next level, when I'm doing or embracing something new. But the, at the center of all of it is purpose. At the center of all of it is purpose. Now, if you are building your business just to pay bills, it's going to feel hard because in your mind, you're like, what's the purpose of all of this, right? But if your vision is larger than where you actually are now, the purpose becomes to get to that next destination. Part of the purpose becomes to get to that next destination. So in the midst of, you know, the challenges or adversity that may come, you still have this vision that you're headed towards that continues to pop up in your mind and cause you to move past the adversity in a different measure. Um, the last few private clients that I had one-to-one, -one, so I, um, I host a mastermind, a year-long mastermind, where I get to work with some really powerful, um, amazing women entrepreneurs on building their brand and their business and their life. We do mindset stuff and all of that good stuff that helps them to shift and actually implement. And then I do uh, coaching one-to-one. -one. So I do VIP days. I actually have a VIP day coming up. Are you one of the ones? who signed up. If you haven't, what are you waiting on? It's going to be an amazing time. I'm excited about it. February the 8th. Um, it is in person in Raleigh. What would 30 days of coaching support do for you? What would a one hour consultation for clarity do for you? And then an eight hour in person visit. What would that do for your life and your business? God, you don't want to miss it. I only got, I'm only taking like a small group of people for this, but I usually host VIPs one-to-one, um, -one, so it would be just me and you. But I have decided to do it in a small group this particular time, and that actually allows me to offer it at a slightly different rate as well because there'll be um, more people there, but it's in Raleigh, North Carolina. You'll be responsible for your hotel and your travel, um, but eight hours, vision, clarity, um, brand awareness, brand strategy, profit strategies, um, you're going to meet some amazing people. Lunch is going to be on me, refreshments throughout the day, um, and shifts. I'm, I'm excited already about the shifts that are going to transpire, but what would 30 days of support to do whatever it is that you're attempting to do for this next 2020, this next year, or this next, next decade? It's invaluable. It's priceless. Um, for those of you who are wanting to join, it is still available. I had a early opportunity that ended midnight last night, but RenewFullCircle.com slash VIPU, RenewFullCircle.com slash VIPU. So I offer one-to-one -one coaching um, virtually um, online from anywhere. I've uh, serviced clients out of the country because of our ability to use the World Wide Web and technology and the internet and all that good stuff. And then my VIP days and my coaching, um, my mastermind. It's how I work with clients, but the two of my recent one-to-one -one virtual uh, clients that I work with needed something, needed the same thing. They needed something very, very similar. So many of you maybe have some ideas of what it is you want to do. You've written your list. You, um, you got the strategy, but for some reason or another, you just can't seem to push that baby out. You can't seem to implement it. And so my last two clients needed to know how to fit that into their life. And as I began sharing it with them, they were like so relieved. They were so blessed. And when I got off of the call, I said, wow, planning and strategy is something that comes like really, really easy for me. And so sometimes 
I take it for granted. Just like you might take whatever that thing is that you do really, really well, you just kind of assume that everybody does that. That it's easy and simple or simplistic for everyone else just like it is you. And, you know, little plug for you, little money nugget. Most of the time, that thing is what's going to help you monetize your business. It's going to be that thing. That's your superpower, right? That's that thing that you just flow in. It just comes out, right? It just happens naturally for you. And because it does, oftentimes you're taking that thing for granted as if no one else needs it. But it is super, super valuable in the life of someone else. And when you're out of alignment with those things that you've become an expert at and you do naturally and it feels good to you, um, most of the time that's why it feels overwhelming or it feels hard or it feels like such a struggle or a pull to make it happen. Because we're looking for these big boom thing when we've naturally been given gifts and talents that we do with our eyes closed that are so valuable to someone else. And one of mine is planning and strategy. And, you know, some of the things just make sense. So when people say, well, I was going to do this, but, you know, I almost, if I'm not careful, say, well, wh why didn't you do that with kind of just kind of um, tone behind it? And then I have to remind myself that I'm operating in my superpower. So yes, it feels easy to me. Yes, it feels natural to me, just like that thing that you do very, very well. Also, alignment or not being in alignment could be that you've outrun a season of your life that you're still trying to operate the same way, with the same systems, with the same people, doing the same thing. And you've just outgrown that particular season in your life. So everything feels, feels like a pull and a stretch or it's no longer working anymore. What used to work extremely well it's just not kicking anymore because you're out of alignment with purpose three things that you need right to get into alignment and many people aren't in alignment because they don't have a real plan so without a plan we're all over the place without a vision we go anywhere we do anything and we do it with anybody and we're out of alignment three things purpose what is the purpose behind what you're doing when adversity comes if you know the purpose You'll overcome the adversity quicker. Um, your emotions about it will be better and you'll get back into your flow quicker, sooner, faster if you're doing it on purpose. So oftentimes if you just create money just to pay bills, it never feels like purpose because you're saying this can't be what the rest of my life is going to look like. Or even if you're doing well financially, but you're at this like standstill and you're not experiencing the next level of growth in your life or your business. It no longer feels like purpose, right? So we should always be evolving and growing. The next thing I want to talk about is a plan. Got to have a plan. You don't have a clear one. Your plan is going to be your baby. When I was doing my mastermind and working with a client today, we were talking about how everything that she was naming was connected to that initial thing that she found clarity on in our onboarding call. So the onboarding call is when we're kind of getting to know more about our business, assessing it, what her vision is and what her goals are. And then the rest of the time, we're creating the strategies that align with it. So everything that she named was connecting back to the vision. So she wasn't going to be all over the place. Not only was she not going to be all over the place, but one thing that she created was going to be duplicated over and over and over again in different areas. So I help. Uh, women service-based business owners to build and brand their business, but I also help them create multiple streams of revenue, other revenue streams that will cause them to work smarter and not harder, create more time freedom while they're creating financial freedom, and then move into new spaces of expansion. And oftentimes, one of the things we create turns into another thing and another thing that they can use. Maybe uh, one thing in particular I help people create is a course. So the course is something they can use if they're educating in person, online, um, you know, as a, a membership, whatever they're wanting to do with that thing, turn some things into digital products. So I help them create that thing that's going to create the added revenue, but it's never all over the place unless their thinking is just all over the place, unless they can't stay connected to what it is that they said they want to build. And most of the time, if that connection is missing, it's because it's not authentic to them. So they may have come up with it um, for monetary reasons and you're in business to profit, okay? So you should be building your business to get you some going. 
but if it's not authentic to them then it may not be um, it may not feel right and so they're not doing it so they go on to something else and something else so purpose you need a plan and you need some profits you need some profits and some of you have some major things that you want to do in the world some experiences you want to have and some people you want to bless and you need more profits and i would love to be the person to support you in that measure join us at our vip it's called the unpredictable opportunity and i called it that because i woke up one morning sporadically moved off of my list because i'm a list girl and i did something unpredictable i wanted to create an opportunity uh similar to one that i've had in my life before giving people a chance to step outside of what they are normally doing um if it's predictable, it will create the same results. So the things that you do routinely on a regular basis, because routine creates results, is aligned with the results that you're creating now. And many of the things that were unpredictable in my life that I did, I didn't say they weren't necessarily calculated, but they weren't necessarily a predictable thing to do in the moment. They were outside of my norm. They caused the greatest transformation. Even stepping outside of the industry that I was currently in and connecting to people in other industries. Um, I was the commencement speaker at a college. Just unpredictable things were happening in my life that created the biggest transformations. And I stepped outside of the box of normalcy, what uh, is normally done, the world's rules. I did some unpredictable things. So I ended up calling this particular VIP day the unpredictable opportunity. Many of you need something unpredictable to go on in your life so that you can get an unpredictable result in your life. And so I invite you to come and join me while in North Carolina, February the 8th, February the 8th, RenewfulCircle.com. I believe I put it at the top of the link, uh, RenewfulCircle.com slash VIPU. RenewfulCircle.com slash VIPU. Three things you need, a purpose, a plan, and profits. If you want to get in alignment, guys, um, much of your monetary gain is going to come from something that you authentically do, that you're already great at, that you're good at, right? It's not a struggle and a pull. Now, some of the things attached to it that may be needed, that may be necessary, may seem like the hard part or the hard work, but when you're in purpose... It's going to feel like you're in alignment. It's not going to feel like work. That's my take on today. Pray that it blesses you, gives you another space of thought, and then also gives you the invitation to invest in yourself on a whole nother level so that you can get a whole nother level of results for 2020 and this new decade and join us at the Unpredictable Opportunity VIP Day. You guys have a super blessed, amazing day. Peace.